I really respect and appreciate the time that you've been given. Why aren't you out there doing what you want to do? What you need to tell yourself is, it's unacceptable to be sitting around and procrastinating. And I no longer want to be a loser. I no longer want to be average. I know what it is that I want, and I'm going to work hard, and I'm going to get it. If I persist, if I continue to try, if I continue to charge forward, I will succeed. I will persist until I succeed. I was not delivered unto this world in defeat, nor does failure course in my veins. I am not a sheep waiting to be prodded by my shepherd. I am a lion, and I to talk, to walk, listen. Don't be a follower, be a student. Take advice, but not order. Take information, but don't let somebody, you know, order your life. Not to do what someone else says. Take what someone else says, process it, think about it, ponder it. It makes you wonder, it makes you think, and it's valuable. Then, when you go take action, make sure that the action, not what somebody told you, make sure the action is the product of your own conclusion. But I'm exactly where I wanted to be because I realized I gotta commit my very being to this thing. I gotta, be, I gotta believe it, I gotta see it, I gotta see it. And it's like, you will never be successful in life. And once you get there, I guarantee you, the world is yours. Stay out of the clutches of mediocrity. Invent yourself and then reinvent yourself. Change your tone and shape so often that they can never categorize you. Reinvigorate yourself and accept what is. Be self-taught and reinvent your life because you must. It is your life and its history and the present belong only to you. You don't need to. You don't really want it. How badly are you wanting success? Rather than actually working towards your dreams, a lot of you are just thinking about it. I have high hopes for everybody watching this. I want to remember your name. It is not the things we do in life that we regret on our deathbed. It is the things we do not. Because I assure you, I've done a lot of really stupid things. None of them bother me. All the mistakes and all the dopey things and all the times I was embarrassed, they don't matter. Find your passion. And in my experience, no matter what you do at work or what you do in official settings, that passion will be grounded in people and it will be grounded in the relationships you have with people and what they think of you when your time comes. In the teeth of these stupefying odds, it is you and I, in our ordinary, that are here. But one thing I can tell you, I waited till 39 to get married because I had to wait that long to find someone where her happiness was more important than mine. And if nothing else, I hope that all of you can find that kind of passion and that kind of love in your life. Thank you.